Conservatives are once again freaking out over the scourge of furries taking over America's schools. In this case, there is a video of students from Utah staging a protest, okay? And the protest they're saying is about furries. They're misinterpreting everything conveniently to spread conspiracy theories as they always do. People actually working at the school district that this is concerning says that there's nothing to these allegations. It's a wild rumor. And so Seth Sorensen is a spokesperson for the Nebo School District. He says that this protest was organized after a message sent to the parents was misinterpreted. So basically, there were kids who were sort of being bullied for dressing differently. Okay, and so an email went out to the parents to sort of try to get out ahead of this, saying, We hope you will treat others how you would like to be treated. Outstanding behavior, literally behavior that stands out, might demonstrate curiosity, understanding, patience, and tolerance. One of our goals is to ensure that you're able to come to school each day to learn the academic curriculum and appropriate citizenship. As responsible citizens, we hope you will look out for each other, take care of each other, and treat each other with kindness. And there's a statement from that spokesperson saying, these are pretty young kids. You'll have students that show up with headbands and giant bows. You'll have students that show up dressed as their favorite basketball player or baseball player. That's just what kids this age do, and we know that that is true. If you're an understanding person with some common sense, but others who see a conspiracy theory behind every tree believe that this means something else. And so they created a change.org petition with the title, Students for Humans at School, Not Animals, AKA Furries. Just say furries then, what? But anyway, so as a result of this, there's a walkout. Let's take a look. wearing a mask, but the principal finally stood up and banned those folks. But they have, but they still wear them every day, yeah, they don't, and, they and they don't get in trouble. trouble. They the principal us. doesn't get make them get in trouble. Yeah. All, all the principal says is just be kind, be nice, be nice. Okay, so what's amazing about this is you have a conspiracy theory that starts spreading about kids being furries or whatever, like we've experienced all over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. Okay, uh, the people who actually work at the school. Are clear. This is not a thing that's happening. This is not a concern. And so obviously the problem is solved, except obviously not. The right wing doesn't care about what's actually happening at the schools. They care about the idea that there is something crazy going on in the schools. Hey, I'm glad you're here. Listen, in order for the damage report to keep on going, we need viewers like you to become a member on YouTube. Can you click the join button on YouTube today? Thank you. So they spread it anyway, even though they've already been fact checked. Libs of TikTok says students walked out of the school to protest the school for allowing furries to terrorize other students. They claim that the furries bite them, bark at them, and pounce on them without repercussion. That's just, you know, that's just how they train to hunt. That's all that is, libs of TikTok. Anyway, however, if they defend themselves in any way, they get in trouble. Megan Kelly, who is now literally no better than libs of TikTok, says another thing we were told is not happening. Because it's not happening, Megan Kelly. Go to the school, go to a random school. No, please, actually, I don't trust you people going to schools. But if you were to go to a school, you would find out that they're not furries, they're just kids. That's what they are, that's what they've always been. What is wrong with you, you twisted little weirdos? Francesca, what are your thoughts? These are like seven and eight year olds, like, or like at most, like, more than 10. Like, these are children. And so it sounds like some kids were acting like animals because we all remember when, like, like those certain, like there'd just be kids that be like, I'm a kitty cat. And they were like a kitty cat for two <laughs> weeks. And you're like, okay. And they're like, no, I'm not a kitty cat anymore. I'm a unicorn. And you're like, all right. Like that's what <laughs> children do during recess. We, we understand that. So those kids were getting bullied. That's what it sounds like. And then, um, then the student, the parents of the bullies, it seems like we're like actually they're being bullied because they're furries and they're crazy. And the, and the administrators are like, no, everything's fine. Please be kind. Please respect everyone. Just gonna dress how they want to dress. Dress like athletes. Dress like this or that. And then because the right is latched onto us, the the, the bullies, these children, have gotten emboldened, and now we've politicized what's going on on recess. It's just. Yep. So stupid, so stupid and wild on every little corner. And you see from the way that those children were talking to the cameras that they know that they're being listened to and they're being politicized. And so they're like, yeah, they bite us, they do whatever they want. And just like, 
Oh my God, it's so pathetic. This is so, the so world, sad. Our country is full of people who desperately need a hobby. Desperately need a hobby more than a person who's starving to death does not need food more than these people need something to do. Truly. Okay, just read a read a damn book, seriously. Or here's an idea. If you want your like life to be about the kids in school or whatever, can you for like read a geometry book so that you can explain to your kid how geometry works? Like there's all sorts of stuff you could do if you're worried about the education that your kids are getting. But that's not what they're worried about. They are all just desperately trying to get in there. There's gotta be something. There's gotta be some little conspiracy. Somebody's effing a kid. I know somebody's effing a kid. Somebody must be. And their minds have just been rotted. Like they talked in the 80s about kids who were playing DD and believing crazy things. No, they went on Facebook and they believe crazy things. Their minds have been ruined, and I fear that there is no recovery for these people. Anyway. And of course, libs of TikTok. Like when, by the way, we covered it at the time when Chaya Raichik like does an interview and once again demonstrates that she can't explain the most basic thing that she's made her entire life and personality about, mm -hmm. and she looks all ridiculous and everything. We can have a laugh in the moment, but it's utterly irrelevant. She doesn't lose any authority over her group because they can't define it any better than she can. They're impossible to shame out of what they're doing because that's the one skill they have. Is that they are shameless. Chaya Raichik doesn't care about any of this. She just has to pretend to care about all of it. Thanks for watching our video. Did you know that you can support our show by becoming a subscriber? Just click the subscribe button and also ring the bell so that you get notifications when we're live or when we post new content.